learning new details in the trials of James and Jennifer Crumbly, the parents of the Oxford High School shooter. The sentencing memorandums released ahead of both of their sentencing hearings. What does that all mean? Our guy, Fox News, <laughs> Charlie Langton, here with more on the verdict. Hi, Charlie. Hello, hello. Well, I think we've all been waiting for the sentencing. This yeah. is the last. This is going to be it. And then we're done right. with Crumley's for a while yeah. until the appeal comes. But nevertheless, sentencing. All right, it's Tuesday. So some sentencing memorandums came back. It shouldn't be a shock to anybody that the prosecutor wants the maximum sentence mm -hmm. and the Crumley's want to be out of jail. Right. Yeah. Shocker there. Not really. So here's the deal. In Michigan, sentencing, what does it mean? If you're convicted of a felony, you all always get a sentence of two years. It's going to be the maximum and the minimum, mm. okay? The maximum is always going to be whatever the maximum sentence is. And in this case, manslaughter is 15 years. Mm. So the, that's not an issue. It's going to be whatever to 15, okay? But it's the minimum. That's the one that everybody would have, is going to, they're going to be fighting about in court on Tuesday. And the prosecutor wants 10 years under the law. You can you be you're, you're, the most you can be sentenced is just say 10 out of 52 thirds of the maximum sentence. So it's 10 to 15 years. Mm -hmm. Now, all sentences have guidelines. In this case, the guidelines are about three and a half to seven years. Mm -hmm. So the judge will decide somewhere within. The, the first number, the minimum amount of time that they have to do in prison, mm -hmm. it could be three and a half to seven, but she could go above the guidelines to 10. Judge has wide discretion. Does the way that they're treating the situation, meaning the Crumbleys, treating the situation affect the judge's ruling, meaning threats, uh, suggest they want to be at home, anything that they say and have done from the time they've been arrested and put incarcerated until now, does that affect the judge's ruling? Yes, it does. And I think we're going to hear a, a lot. lot. Let's yeah. go to James Crumley first. James Crumley allegedly said that he wanted to kill Prosecutor mm -hmm. Karen McDonald. Yep. Oh, they've, got, they've got phone conversations. If yep. you're in jail, every conversation is taped. Yeah. And they have conversations. I'm going to get you. You these a couple words we can't say on television. Nevertheless, is that going to hurt him at mm -hmm. sentencing? Yes. The weird one, though, is Jennifer. Jennifer, uh, you know, she wants to be sentenced to a house arrest in her attorney's guest house with yes, a that, tether. So many even, questions about weird? that. Yeah, that's that's weird. Weird. Why, why would the attorney ever say, sure, I'll suggest that? Is it some kind of guardianship or something? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. Uh, I, I can't figure this one out. Huh. The only kind of thing maybe is that they have developed a relationship. Maybe they know each other. Maybe they're friends. Mm -hmm. um, or it, within the trial, the attorney was very, um, you know, suggesting that she personally will deliver Jennifer to the courthouse for an arraignment, which is not unusual, but, mm -hmm. you know, there's a little bit of a, a friendship there. The problem on this one, though, if the judge, for whatever, reason said, yeah, you can be sentenced in the guest house, and then Jennifer doesn't come home one day, the prosecutor's star witness on a violation right. would be her attorney. And that's weird, too. Yeah. So, um, I... We're talking about tether. We're talking about time. she did time served in the tether. She just can't walk around. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're house arrest. I just don't think that's going to happen. And I, I would say, mm. listen, the, the, James is making the better argument. He's already, they've already done two years and two months in jail. Mm. They will get credit for that, no matter what the sentence is. Ah. James says, I just want to do time served. Sentence me to the two years plus and let me out of jail right now. That's a more legitimate request. Right, right, I don't think the judge is going to do it necessarily. Remember, we have four deaths here. Mm -hmm. So on guidelines, you weigh all the different factors and you come up with a, with a guideline. And I think that, but I think the judge is going to go above and I think the judge probably will sentence to the 10 years. What do we think could be on the horizon for the appeal? One of them would possibly the ineffective assistance of counsel. We hate mm -hmm. lawyers don't like that, saying mm -hmm. that. But there were a lot of trial strategies, at least on the Jennifer case, yeah. I think, uh, that some argument, you know, why did she take the stand? Now, th but in the appellate world, if it's trial strategy, that's not going to be overturned. And to take the stand would be one of them. Can you, you ask know? for a change of venue on an appeal? You can. You can. But they picked a jury, and the jury was not fine. That's not going to... They probably won't argue that. Because hmm. you pick the jury, and that's when you decide the venue. If, if every one is biased. You yeah. can't get a jury. That's an issue. But it wasn't in this case. They picked a jury pretty quickly. Is it a day cases. of sentencing? Will, will we get both of their sentences on, on Tuesday? On Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the victims will speak, and there are plenty of victims right. that will speak. 
Uh, and the, then the judge will probably take a short recess. For maybe both a lunch, of them, even though both. separate they're cases. They're going to be together. Yeah, they're going to be together wow. in the same we court room, which is the minute. first. Yeah. That's another first, too. Yeah. Yeah. So we haven't seen that either. So uh, they'll be together, and then the victims, because you only have want to make the victims mm -hmm. go just one time. Right. And right. then the judge will sentence each one individually, and each one can talk to the court. James can tell his story. Wow. Jennifer can tell yeah. her story. Wow. And right, I Charlie, think they we'll will. A pin in that. You're going to stick around? Let's do it. All Let's right. do it. Let's do it. We'll right back after the break. Stay close. From one to the next. Now, this one, a former Oakland County Sheriff's deputy is facing some serious charges. Prosecutors allege he secretly recorded a family member. Mm. Fox News' Charlie Langton is back with more on this case. Well, the family member, apparently, they were having some sexual relations. Mm. Uh, and it was caught on a hidden video camera. And it had been going on, perhaps, since 2018. Wow. Now, is it illegal to have a video camera in your house? No. Can you, can you videotape you or whatever having sex? No. But when it's not consensual, then it's illegal. So having and it be a videotaping, money. both not illegal, but the con consent is the Correct. Correct. It's part. the consent. It's okay. not, it's so allegedly, they didn't have consent. Now, this, this is a former Oakland County deputy. He was fired. And the reason was is because, so he, the, the wife, his wife, filed a PPO. This guy had already been off on a disability when the wife filed a PPO. The sheriff's office wanted to do an internal investigation. What's this PPO about? And the guy refused refused to cooperate with his boss, the Oakland County Sheriff, and mm. so they fired him. Mm. Then, apparently it came out that he was videotaping a family member. Don't know if it's the wife, hasn't come out yet. Mm. I can make some guesses, but I don't want to. We, ha we just got a rain yesterday, so we don't have any preliminary exam, hasn't happened yet, we don't have a lot of facts. Mm -hmm. um, but you <clears throat> But a fact argue, would have to be it. that if it's, if it's the wife, the, the fact would have to be that the person on the tape is saying that they did not give consent Correct. to yep. be recorded. But, right. if, but if it took place inside the house. It is inside the house. But if you're in the house and you know cameras are there, does that count as consent? Well, I might if the if the if family member we knew. Said, Look, I'm putting was up cameras in the, the house camera. years ago. Oh. Cameras are still up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, that's a defense. I would say that's a defense. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. If you knew there was a camera and you have sex, and the camera's on. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a defense. It doesn't seem like that's the, maybe the facts here. If right. there's nothing yes. in writing, how it, how would you prove that consent was given? Would you have had to have watched the tapes together, or would there have to be some communication between the two, so some kind of text? The, the complaining witness, yeah. and again, it could be a How wife, could be it? something else. Right. 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 Not a minor. Right. It's not a minor, because that with the charges would have been way up right. there. Right. Uh, but if the family member uh, went to the uh, Michigan State Police, they're doing the investigation, and said, I was videotaped. Now, how she found out, I don't know, uh. but that's the, the story. And she's going to say, I found the camera, maybe I found the tape, maybe I looked at it and said, oh my God, what's going on here right and then they brought you know, they did an investigation right. and then they brought charges mm -hmm. so he's fired he's not an Oakland County deputy sheriff anymore he was working in the jail he had been there 10 years he's 46 years old Joseph Fortier that's his name that's been released and he's facing four counts of basically videotaping somebody with no clothes on you can't do that um, without their consent mm. without their consent what's and the so, possible ramifications if, if he gets five years looks like up to five years up to five. Oh. but it could be more depending on on, depending on what's on that tape. Wow. And so is this linked to the PPO? So the PPO is different. Right. So the PPO, oh. the PPO is one <laughs> thing, question. and question. the tape's another thing. Right. Wow. But the PPO happened about a year, about uh, maybe a month or so ago. So probably, the, this is all in Livingston County. Yeah. Mm. So we're still getting some information on this. I just broke yesterday. Wow. But the PPO, though, uh, they probably cannot live together. So either he moved out or she moved out. Mm -hmm. And we don't know yet. But we mm. have, have, you know, we've got some contacts there. Uh, but, it's a, but it's a story of, uh, you know, how it's privacy. Yeah. We have, you know, the courts will uphold privacy. And you have a right mm -hmm. to, we talked about this last week. You have yeah. a lot of privacy in this world. Don't invade it. Mm. But... If you consent, that's really the only defense. Mm, and technology, technology these days, cameras are smaller, video resolutions yes. are better, drones are out in the yeah. sky. We're just yes. used to cameras are everywhere. Drone. They're everywhere. Could they be recorded. Put these little recording mm -hmm. things, you know, uh, whatever. And you, that's uh, probably no. I don't think the law has caught up to the technology, mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and that's yeah. which is not unusual cases. in the law. Yeah. Right. But Some I think we, we need in this. The 
Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah, they do. They do. I have yeah. yes, I have a pair of sunglasses yeah. that I, as the as the tech guy that have glasses in them. And when you set that up, there's a disclaimer that says I agree by setting these up that I will not record anybody without their consent. And yeah. all you got to okay, but that's agree? it. I mean, that's yeah. all. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, there this is. is a high-tech uh, peeping Tom. I don't know right. what you, whatever you call it, right. but it, but it, it kind of is these days. Interesting. It's something. It is something. All right. Uh, you're letting it rip tonight. We are letting it rip tonight. We're going to talk about uh, there's a lot going on in the Middle East and Gaza. Uh, Arabs and Jews here. There seem to be some tension here. We'll talk about that. And then uh, electric vehicles. Mm. Are they too much? Are they uh, oh. in vogue? Are they out of vogue? Do people like them? What do you think? We'll talk about mm -hmm. that. As well, 10:30 tonight on Let It Rip. Good stuff, Charlie. Do you I get a day you. off, sir? <laughs> no. Do you ever get a day off? Yeah, we got opening day tomorrow. Time is game. Yeah. Go. Now we've got uh, Eclipse on Monday. Uh -huh. You go down we've there tomorrow, Charlie. On, I'll be down there Monday morning. Oh, yes. yeah. oh, no, yeah. no, not Monday. Tomorrow for the I game. Tomorrow well for the game. Yes. yes. I mean the Eclipse on Monday. Yes. yes. There's, There's a lot of uh, Tuesday. What's going on Tuesday? The NFL draft. The NFL draft. Just keep going for that. We got a lot going on. The sensing, the crumbly sensing is on Tuesday. We got a lot coming up.